Nico Halil and welcome to The Score, where we tackle the hottest and trending topics in sports. The Athena Blue Eagles and the Adamson Soaring Falcons continue to separate themselves from the pack in UAP Season 81. Ateneo has advanced to the Final Four with a league-leading 9-2 record, while Adamson is not far behind at 8-2. Now, the middle of the standings sees four teams fighting for the final two spots in the semifinal round. Now, is there is there a third or maybe even a fourth team that can prevent an Ateneo Adamson all bird quote uh, UAP finals this season? Now, joining our discussion on the UAP, our analysts today. We have basketball legend, the trigger man, Alan Kaidik, and the CEO of Exercise Incorporated, <laughs> Bo Belga, of the Rain or Shine Elastopaders. Uh, hi, guys. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Oh, Bo, the most, alam mo ba ako sa Alan, yan ang most requested analyst at the school. Oh, nga, pinapanood ko nga siya. Tumataas ang rating. Bo, ha, medyo bait tayo ngayon. Kasi si Alan nandito para nakakahiyang magluko eh. <laughs> Hindi din. Yeah. Sa iyo. Di ba? Di ba? Sa iyo si Coach Alan. Okay, so let's talk, about the, let's talk about the UAP. Now, I know Coach Alan, you've been very busy with your legend tours and you just recently came back from the Middle East. But I know you, you always parang ano, find out what's going on in college. So, how surprised are you that yung Ateneo is, uh, well, is going to go back in the Final Four and is currently on top of the team standings? Actually, I'm not surprised kasi they're the defending champions. At the same time, yung exposure nila sa Jones Cup, unlocking factor non. So you can see the maturity of the team and maganda na yung cohesiveness nila. Ang surprisingly is the uh, Adamson ano, uh, for me kasi before the start of the, the season, uh, I rated FEU and uh, uh, what's this the other team? Lasal uh, or uh, yeah, Lasal and uh, UP, UP to be yeah, yeah. ahead of them. But uh, surprisingly, nakita ko sila nasa number two spot. And uh, that's credit to the coaching staff, especially France, na na mold niya yung team dahil veteran na yung mga teams ni mga players niya. And I'm happy naman, kahit pa paano, nandun sila ngayon to, to come up yung strong dun sa UAAP. I know what's not making you happy, the, the struggles of your alma mater, UE, but that's for another another episode and another topic. Bo, uh, sa tingin mo ba itong Ateneo Adamson mukhang papunta na? Uh, I, I know wala pa tayo sa Final Four, we're still in the second round, pero mukha bang papunta na sila na sila yung maaaring mag-meet in the finals? Um, ako Ateneo. Sure. Dahil dun sa Kwame. <laughs> Dahil kay Kwame, right? Kwame. And Adamson, I think, they they have a big chance. Pero hindi mo pwedeng i-understimate yung mga nasa ilalim. Eh. They are still contenders. And sabi ko, pagdating sa playoffs, iba na. Pagdating sa ano. So, how come, uh, si ikaw, sobrang kumpiyansa ka na Atene will make the finals. Pero yung Adamson, bakit? Ano yung may kulang ba sa Adamson that could para bang disrupt their plans of making it to the title series? Experience sa playoffs. Ooh. Yun ang nakikita kong medyo... Kasi, siyempre, yung pressure sa elimination, pwede kang magkamali eh. Pagdating sa playoffs, pag nagkamali ka, malaking bagay. Iindahin mo talaga. So, experience-wise, when it comes to the playoffs, medyo, ano pa, kumbaga, rookie pa ang ano, rookie pa ang Adamson. Pagdating sa playoffs. That's, that's an interesting point. Because you look at their talented players. Uh, Jerica and Misi, uh, arguably the best shooter right now in the UAAP. Uh, Sean Manganti, malupit na wingman, can play offense, defense, he can dunk, he can, you know, he can hit clutch shots. Pero yun nga, Coach Alan, when you bring these guys to the Final Four, tapos ako yari, ang katapat mo dyan, tipong FEU yeah. or Lasal who have tremendous playoff experience, experience. Is, could that be a problem for Coach Francis? Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with Bo. Uh, talagang uh, iba yung Final Four eh. Lalo na pag papunta na sa finals. No? So, dun makikita talaga how mature this uh, Damson team is. Kasi uh, they beat uh, Ateneo, mm-hmm. di ba? Nung first round. And makikita natin kung, kung paano nila pupunta sila doon sa next level. Uh, it's a big test for them. It's it's a big test. It's also a big test for the teams sa nagahabol. So habang lumalayo si Ateneo at si Adamson, dikit-dikit naman. You have Lasal, you have FEU, you have UST, you have uh, you UP. have you have UP. Now, of the of the four teams, 
sino dun yung at least sa tingin nyo would have a chance na alam mo alam nyo yun yung make a run get some wins and uh, tanggalin nila either Ateneo Adamson uh, you know in, in, in the running sino yun Bo? Ako I'll go for FEU and UP gusto ko Bakit mo sila gusto? Um, I think magandang match up yung FEU dun sa dalawa sa ibabaw lalo na pag nakaka-recover si Prince Oriso. Correct, right. Tapos, I think merong material yung UP to contend with those two top teams para para maging maganda yung playoffs ano. Because they have a, they have a bright Akuete. They have a, they have talented offensive players, may Juan Gomez de Leano, may Desiderio. Okay. That's that's an interesting point na tinitingnan ni Bo Coach Alan is matchup. matchup. Lalo na yung matchup sa loob kasi yeah. sino ka matchup ni Kwame? Yeah. Sino ka matchup ni Papi Sar? Uh, for you Coach Alan, you look at those four teams sa gitna. Sino dun yung parang ba? That team can make a run. Like I've said, uh, I Ni-rate ko yung UP and uh, FEU to be in the top top ano, top ano 3 or top 4. So, because of yung lineup nila, they have also those uh, imports na makakamatch up kay Kwame. So, I agree with Bo again. Magaling na analyst. Dalawa kami. <laughs> Grabe pa Tablan naman na kami. <laughs> so, basically, yun. Yun yung ano. Kaya lang naging inconsistent sila throughout the, the, two, the two elimination round. No? Uh, kaya, interesting. Tingnan natin. Pero, syempre, don't count uh, Lasal and uh, UST, stable. Uh, uh. Stable lang ang Lasal. Eh. Tapos, tong UST, another ano to, surprising team na uh, syempre, bago yung coach nila tapos uh, yung half of the team are rookies and yun, maganda rin ang pinakita nila uh, you, you, When you look at teams that are playing with uh, what you'd say minimal pressure mm-hmm. syempre, Ateneo probably playing with the most pressure of all eight teams uh, Adamson maybe not as much as Ateneo kasi no one naman is expect, was expected them to be top two mm-hmm. I think FU is playing with pressure I think uh, Lasal always Lasal. Uh, plays with pressure Probably UST siguro sila yung... Chill lang. Chill, di ba? Chill lang, di ba? I mean, whatever they accomplish, parang oh, okay na yan. Coach Alden Ayo is a new coach with a very young team. Is is that actually a great position to be in? Oh, of course. Uh, for a coach, talagang maganda yan. It's a positive thing for them, uh, for him, no? Kasi, uh, yun nga, no pressure and then nag-deliver yung team and it builds confidence to the players coming to the next season, eh. Okay, so uh, according to Bo, UST chill, and then tingin ni Bo yung Ateneo is looking really good. Uh, Coach Alan naman uh, believes also uh, Ateneo and UST are both dangerous teams. 